Hello, sweet souls. Happy Wednesday, September 20th. It's going to be your angel uh, reading. We're going to call on St. Michael. St. Michael, please return to sender. Anyone sending ill will through thought, word, or action toward myself or the viewer, we're going to call on the Holy Spirit, angel saints, spirit guides, and the ancestors and ask for a message for your greater good. All right. So let's see. What message do you have for the collective for their greater good? What message do you have for the collective for their greater good? And I do have frankincense and myrrh burning. If you guys see the smoke, that's what that is. All right. What does the collective need to know for their greater good? First card out. Trust your instincts. Your intuition is always going to guide you in the right direction. The owl is in the card that represents the spiritual realm, giving you guidance. Uh, the next one is trust your talents in changing times. You're here for a purpose. You're getting downloads about what that purpose is, what you're meant to create. You, gr you have grown within your current situation, so you, you've learned valuable lessons. Again, with the owl and then the crow talks about divine protection. Then we have stargazer, set your sights higher. Aim for what it is you want to create. What do you want to manifest in this life? And then trust in the unknown. Trust in God. Let's get one more. Oh, we got two more. When you trust in God, you will thrive. Love and let yourself be loved. Open your heart to love. Okay, love is the highest vibration. It is your protection. Um, they're saying to see from a higher perspective. See everything that has happened in your life as an opportunity to learn to grow and to ascend into the best version of you. All right, let's see what else comes out, guys. Truth and only truth for the collective. What does the collective need to know for their highest good? What does the collective need to know for their highest good? All right, so we got be still and golden crown. You are receiving downloads. This is a uh, crown chakra, but also third eye activation. You are receiving messages. Continue to stand in integrity, doing what you know is right, what you're called to do, because you are a celestial teacher. You're meant to teach and guide other people based on the experiences that you've had. There is your own lessons are providing important information for others. Okay. Yeah. You're heading into a new chapter, one shrouded in light. A light being you have strength they just want you to surrender and have faith believe okay let's see what else comes out guys truth and only truth for the collective truth and only truth for the collective what does the collective need to know for their highest good what does the collective need to know for their highest good holy spirit holy angel saints spirit guides and ancestors what does the collective need to know for their highest good I'm going to start doing YouTube lives, so I will announce it so you guys can um, jump over there and join me on the YouTube lives. I'm going to start doing live readings, uh, collective readings. First card out, all is at your fingertips. What has been created by one can be had by all. You have a unique gift and talent. It doesn't matter if other people do what you're being called to do. What you offer is unique and different, and the world needs it. That's why it's important to be authentic. Your way is the only way for you. It doesn't matter if people resonate with the way you do things. That's the way you're meant to do them, okay? And explore, love, create. The only thing that holds you back is you. Be open to create whatever it is you're inspired to create and don't worry about what anyone else thinks about it. Past life, emotion lives in you. You are expressing more and it's releasing. So you may feel emotional, you may feel like crying, screaming, whatever, you're purging it, okay? So let it out. You are worthy, aim for what you want and believe in yourself. That's awesome. All right. I'm going to do the Cancerian Oracle because I want to see um, what's coming in for the collective. What do they need to be aware of? Truth and only truth for the collective. What does the collective need to be aware of? What do they need to know? What's coming in the near future? What advice do you have for the collective, please? Wow. We have, have more fun. You're going to be celebrating moving forward. There is a shift that's occurring. This is fast results. You're breaking the cycle and it's okay to change direction. There's a tower moment here, a sudden change, a shift. Spend this time 
alone and nurturing your mind, body, and spirit. This shift is a blessing because the universe is clearing the path for you. We have a timeline of months from now. They want you to take action. We also see a few weeks from now. So a few weeks from a few months, they want you to take action. I do see romance coming in for some of you, your soulmates coming in. And we have, yes, your intuition is always correct and stop overthinking it. Surrender the control to the universe. Continue to hydrate and meditate. Okay, is there anything else that we need to know? Let's do the angel answers. Think of a yes or no question and we'll see if we get your answer. Truth and only truth for the collective. What does the collective need to know for their highest good? What does the collective need to know for their highest good? Wow. I definitely see for many of you, you've been waiting on a romantic partner and I do see this person, this soulmate is in your energy. Continue to be in your Empress energy setting boundaries, but big happy changes are headed your way. Truth and only truth for the collective. Continue to have a positive mindset. With unlikely, I always get this as negative self-talk. Continue to say positive things, to think positive things, because you are manifesting your reality based on your thoughts, your words, and your actions. You're ready to move forward in this new timeline. They need you to trust. They need you to trust. Trust in divine timing. Everything happens exactly when it's supposed to happen. Continue to ask for help from your spirit guides. They're going to give you guidance. Any guidance that you need, they're going to give it to you. You are recovering. The answer to your question is no. Now, this can be a no for now. This can be no forever. Um, but they're saying the answer is no. Continue to call on your spirit guides, they're saying. And stop worrying. Stop worrying about when things are going to happen. Just know that everything that is meant for you, you cannot miss, and it's coming into alignment for you. You have to surrender fear, worry, you have to surrender control, and you just have to trust in God. God wants what's best for you. God's gonna align what's best for you, okay? All right, guys, this is the reading I have for you. I love you. I hope that you have an amazing day. Bye-bye.